Hi, welcome to this recording. We are going to install Arch Linux D on a virtual box and it does not matter on what system you're on, on what desktop environment you're on. And this is the latest development, which is Xmonad, which I'm testing out and we're improving all the time the polybar and polybars at the bottom. So yes, there is, um, this video is actually, the, the topic of the video is actually installing Arch Linux D and in the next video, we're going to do uh, something that a user asks. He wants to combine XFC and Awesome. But first, Arclinux D, how do we install it? So we get to arclinux.info, download. You go to the download here. You end up in SourceForge. You choose your folder, which is Arclinux D. And you get the latest one, right? So the top one is always the last one. This is always the correct uh, link. Sometimes this, this guy, takes a day or so to update. So downloaded that thing, meaning I have an ISO now here and in the third tab, there is everything already ready. So VirtualBox, I've installed or set everything ready. I copy paste, you know, clone, and then we have here a system that's ready to load up. So double click is going to load our system. Let's, um, move this guy so we can actually tell the system here in xmonad to move away to number five for instance so it's now down here and i have only one thing here present so this one can go as well so this guy is just the virtual box itself we're booting up from the dvd or iso however you want to call it so it's an, a format and ISOs need to be burned on a USB to install it on a proper machine, on a real metal, as they say. And Apple Linux D is a learning kind of distro in the sense that the ISO puts you in a dark screen or called a terminal black screen. And this thing is luckily graphical, it means you choose the language you want to have so you can follow this Calamares in your own language. And then you choose next, choose from which part you have, uh, you are. So you have the correct time zone and these settings can be changed as well. So you have your American English. And if you want to have something else uh, like uh, Dutch and, and German or anything, you just scroll and look for your language code. And the same applies here for the numbers and the dates locally, keeping everything to uh, American. And this I do need to change. That's my keyboard, which is Azerti. As you see, this has changed completely. And then next, I always do erase disk and I don't care about the swap. It's just a virtual box anyway. And these days with 250 gigabytes, it doesn't really matter if we have some gigabytes uh, that are gone. But I do know that Calamaris is working on a new way to and make it possible not to use a swap in the future or even use a swap file. So we'll just have to wait that that comes through. Erase disk is a nice thing. Okay, next. And then we say, let's go for the naming part. Logins and this is D. So the article is D is where you choose your desktop, right? Decide the desktop. I always choose to have the same password for my uh, login for my Eric account as for my administrator account I have the same password but you can have something different if you want to next and install and that's basically it so we get a graphical installer which is helpful because the phase 5 in Arch Linux means that you use the Arch Linux ISO which drops you immediately in a black screen and you need to uh, tell them that's my hard disk and you have to format it that way and that's the size of that partition That's the size of that partition. And now you're gonna shroot into it, etc. etc. So a lot of technical stuff Which is all documented on arclinuxd.com phase 5 but um, It all depends on your Linux knowledge at this point in time. So it could be your future project in this case, we're going to skip phase one of Arch Linux. We have something graphical that just drops you 
in an also a terminal black screen and you need to start using scripts and that's what we're gonna show in the next video but this is just about the installation we'll just pause here for a moment and then uh, start talking later when it's almost finished almost finished of course this installation is quite uh, easy or rapid as well fast because of the fact that it's only one gigabyte that it has to write on your hard disk restart now done and now we need to tell the system that he has to forget about the iso but it's still in there and that's why we get this so if you uh, say in the virtual box get rid of the iso you won't see this pop up and you just boot directly in this one so this is our linux d and it's of course it boosts boots up very fast because there is nothing to boot up really this is it login password and you're done this is Arclinux D and here this video ends now it's up to you maybe I can add a few things like the aliases they are here as well there there's an update alias which is going to probably get a lot of stuff so let's maybe include this in the video here so first thing update your system maybe not the first thing Control C Eric alias if you see that the download is not fast this is okay speed is fast enough but if it's not then you have four mirrors there is in the more more to the top you see mirror mirror a mirror d mirror s all possibilities to get a fast selection of arch linux not arch linux arch linux services servers so let's do it just for uh, education's sake let's take mirrors and this means something's changed right um, you don't see it but we know it the mirrors have changed different look at the speeds now this is faster than earlier on just rewind the video you'll see that we had five or six now we have 24 so it's a lot faster to install your your um, your data so two things once you have everything installed get your mirrors so you have a fast update and that's one thing updating is Arch, Arch Linux and Arch Linux that's the command update but you have also to have a look at the AUR but since Arch Linux D does not contain a lot of packages it's a minimal way of installing Arch Linux right it's, it's really really base installation there's not a lot of stuff in there let's wait for the installation I want to do PKS YOA as well and then this video is at an end All right this is the thing coming from AOR and there are two things Yebin and X course cursor breeze X cursor is not important of course just the cursor but the Yebin is an AOR helper Arch user repository Google it that's a package that's going to help you install stuff that's coming from the AOR. So yay, I don't know, yay, yay music or yay icon theme, right? Icons, yay icons. These are all the icons you can download. So it's really helpful to find stuff on um, the Arch user repository. Okay, okay, this concludes the video. And next one is XFC and awesome.